Hey, how you guys doing? Hi, Vagalex. So, I, there's a lot of stuff going on right now about boycott and World of Tanks on the weekend of June 30th to basically say we do not want patch kits. Now, the pros have spoken, so I'm going to go ahead and say I support the pros, and I'm going to say please support the pros by boycotting and not playing World of Tanks on June 30th to July 2nd, if possible. Uh, and I made this little note on here that says free to lose or pay to win. And that's basically what we're talking about here. So this was an article that I came across. I'm not going to tell you where I got it because I don't want Wargaming coming down on anybody. But if you guys would like to read this entire thing, please pause it and do that. And for those of you that don't want to read it and would rather listen to me speak, let's go ahead and look at what's the problem. Now, this is actually the problem here, and that's this patch kit. Now this is basically an idea that sounds great on paper but could possibly destroy World of Tanks and destroy the meta if you will. I don't even know what they mean by when they when they say meta, but I'm going to go ahead and say that I do know what consequences and reactions are. You know, if you react, there's a consequence and so vice versa. This is something that will restore 20% of your hit points. Obviously, it's probably going to cost 20,000 for it, but this could be the difference between winning and losing. And so this would force people, if you want to be just as competitive as the next guy, to actually use 20,000 of their credits, which we already are doing that when we're firing heat shells, when we're using um, you know, tea, tea and coffee or any premium consumable. This is going to add it in and make it so that people would have to use it. I'm going to say that some people may use it effectively, some may not. Now, to go kind of go into it a little bit more, I want to let you guys know that 1,500 hit points is what the Tiger 2, or sorry, the Tiger Eye has on it, right? The Tiger Eye has 1,500. That's a tier 7. Now, if you use one of these things uh, after 30 seconds, right? So say you, you lose some hit points, right? So you take three shots and you're at half health and you use one of these patch kits, it's going to give you 300 hit points. Uh, and that's basically going to give you 1,800 total. So 1,800 hit points total. Um, and so that's in a tier 7. So any tank that has a lot of HP is going to be more benefiting from this than others. It basically makes, uh, well, it's going to make people fire more and carry more heat rounds and so on for specific tanks. For instance, the mouse that has the most hit points in the game. If you guys could imagine, that thing's going to get like 800. Uh, that's going to basically be two, two to four shots, depending on what tank you're in, uh, on a mouse. And that's going to basically give them a huge advantage, which means everybody's going to want to be driving a mouse or a Type 5 Heavy, you know, and so on and vice versa. Destroying the game as we know it. So another thing w was brought up, and that was the weather variance if you guys read that article and how stupid it is to have them I also have my own misgivings about it which is this at what point in time would you ever take a tank that has to get oxygen into a sandstorm and if you got people when would you take a tank into a blizzard you know you'll you'll die you could die uh, and of course if your motor stalls you're dead right where are you gonna go you're gonna get buried in the snow in a what hundred ton tank and then, of course, Monsoon. You know, it's just nobody's going to be fighting fighting in that. So to have, I mean, like, I like the maps the way they are. And, of course, I get bored with maps, but that's why you bring out new maps. You guys are bringing out new maps, Wargaming, and you're also, you know, taking old maps and destroying them. It's stupid. It, it is absolutely dumb. Nobody's fighting in a, in a sandstorm. They're not doing it. Anyway, that's all I have to say about it, and I'm going to say I know a lot of pros that are not playing as much as they, they would be normally because of it. Just the other day, I got onto a map, the new Airfield, and I really like Airfield. It's one of my favorite maps, and now all of a sudden, it's an absolute nightmare. You can't see anything. You know, you have to come up around a corner, and you end up getting three-shotted, and you know, heaven forbid you get it in a Tier 10 match because you're either going to you know absolutely destroy or get killed. Anyway... Let's move on to topic number three, I think we're at right now. And this is my own personal thing. And I've noticed it uh, kind of edging in about it a while ago, but I'm just going to kind of set the scene for you. Now imagine I'm in my IS-3 and I'm cruising around on the Ardennes, right? And I, I feel like I'm in a Russian tank and I'm fi I see a German tank and I want to, you know, I fire at him. I really am immersed in it. I mean, look at it. You got... 
three three really super strong Soviet heavies, you know, here on, I think it's Mir Miravanka, uh, you know, and they just look cool, and they're ready to fight some German tanks. They were designed to take down German tanks, if, if you will. And then all of a sudden, you run into this, which, I mean, what the hell is it? And it, it's it's a comic book tank that shouldn't be in here. It's a it's unrealistic, you know. Don't buy these tanks, please. Seriously, if you're a collector, don't get them. Seriously, these are basically. I mean, this thing looks like it came right out of. Um, what is the name of, of that uh, game? Borderlands. It looks like a something from Borderlands. Look, it has saddlebags. It's like, I, I know that there's a, a Japanese artist out there that went, you know. I want to take a little bit of tank and I want to make a little bit of make it more like a horse you know and, and it, you know it, it really is this, it's like trying to make it like a western you know it's obviously from the Valkyrie Chronicles but I mean it's completely unrealistic and and stupid seriously and it's probably gonna get some kind of crazy perk and that's where these come in you know these come into play uh, with that but I wanted to tell you one thing else about this and that is if these kind of tanks come out I don't know if you guys know this, but World of Tanks Blitz has actually taken a huge dive. And some people love it, some people hate it. Some people, I think, are hopelessly addicted to it and can't stop playing it. But what they did about six months ago was they made it so that you could make any tank you want to a premium tank. Uh, any tank at all. Which basically meant people started firing APCRs as much as they possibly could. Right? Because, I mean, there really wasn't any time you're going to go negative. So if you aren't shooting APCR... So what they did was they nerfed APCR rounds to do 15% less, da less damage. Um, essentially, you know, everybody that purchased and paid gold for their favorite tanks, literally making it so that they, they there was a, an incentive to not use them. Which is really stupid if you guys think about it. And so regenerating hit points is exactly the same kind of, of thing. It's something that's going to change the game to the point where it's going to be, well, I'll say we'll lose a lot of the pros. I'll tell you that. And the people that don't, that, that do play on the 30th will probably love it and wonder why, you know, they're having such good games and why it's, it's you know, they're owning and it's because they're noobs and they don't know what's going on here. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Anyway, please support the pros. And of course, let me know if you guys agree or disagree with these. Uh, in the comments and of course have a good one later